everyone, welcome back. So today I wanted to do a update video on my breast reduction because it has been over a year now which I can't quite believe and a lot of people have been, a lot of people still ask questions, I still get so many questions each day and I can't quite believe how many people have said like because of your video it really inspired me to get my own or it finally I finally plucked up the courage to book mine or you know get a consultation and so many of you have also gone with my surgeon which was Mark Solomos I did leave all that information in my original video so if you haven't seen my original breast reduction video which is quite long talks about why I got it and how I felt and I think that was quite recent after the surgery so I actually got the surgery on the 30th of June of last year um, and then I did a two month post up op update and now this is my one year update. So if you haven't seen the first two videos then definitely go and have a look at those because I'm not going to be repeating anything. This is simply a one year update so you should already be in the know of lots of the initial questions you may be wondering. Also it's really really hot so I need to fan self. So I have made notes on my phone to so basically I've gone through all of my Instagram DMs, my Twitter DMs and some of my emails as well um, just to kind of get the basis of the main questions that get asked. And first off I just want to say like the clothes I feel able to wear now and the confidence like before I would never wear something like this like at all. They'd be completely spilling out and all this. So I've got a few notes written down. Um, so the full recovery time I don't actually like... I would say like full recovery, I would say like four or five months, I mean it, if that, I really didn't feel much pain at all, it was just a bit more of a discomfort and I had answered that in the two month post op update and that kind of thing. Um, it's just, they just kind of settled down, obviously um, they will have still been swollen so your final size can be determined like I would say six months to a year. Um, so answering that question, my current size, like the bras I'm wearing at the moment and it's so like, it's so nice being able to walk into just like a normal bra shop or a normal store and just being able to like grab a bra and it fit, you know, and or get a sports bra or just things like that it, it's really lovely so my current size and I suppose like the final size is 34d so I did go from about a the bra that I had before was a 36 triple J um, so quite a big difference you've all seen the before and after picture with the flowers on the nips um, I've written just pain a lot of people still worry about the pain and as I said I have quite a high pain threshold anyway but I would say it was so much more of just like a annoyance or a discomfort or just like, you know, I don't remember being like in excruciating pain at all, at all. Like my tattoo was more, like I got that done when I was like 18, my tattoo was more painful and that wasn't even painful but um, I'm 23 now and I had my operation when I was 22. Uh, scars. So I'm actually going to put on some overlay clips here just because I didn't want to be talking and show you scars and then have to like cut out certain clips just in case we got a, a nib slip and uh, then my words didn't follow on properly um, and so on. So I am absolutely like overwhelmed with these results and how the scars are looking. Like I have to be careful what I show you but the the method that was done was kind of like the anchor I'm guessing so like um, stitching around the nipple and then down and then under so under and then around and then down so around the nipple you wouldn't know down you wouldn't know and then under it's almost like a faded stretch mark is how I would describe it but then when it comes to like here this bit it's a little bit darker it's slightly darker um, because obviously it was a thick incision. Now I, as soon as I got the surgery done and I saw the scars, obviously when you first see the scars it may like shock you a little bit and it is quite a surprise to see your body that way but I said to myself then like even if those scars stay as they are like thick red I do not care like 
I do not care but they're absolutely amazing I couldn't like my the nurse had a joke and said Mark Solomos is the Michelangelo of breasts and that he is <laughs> um, so I told you about the size told you about the swelling because after I'd say like two months three months the bra size I had was still an F and a lot of people were like oh that's still too big to what I want it to be um, so yeah the swelling will go down like up to a year um, a lot of people have asked this question and I've asked a lot of people this as well and I don't know if if it's just me because I'm used to the size or what but sometimes I'm like oh are they gonna grow back but you'd be so surprised the amount of people that have asked if they can grow back now I don't think they can grow back right Like, we're not a starfish. Starfish can grow back. I don't think we can grow, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think that can happen. Mine definitely have not grown back. Although sometimes because I'm so used to the size, I think, oh no, they're big again, or this kind of thing. Um, but it's just like my friends and family are like, you're crazy. So as I said at the beginning, bra wise, like it's so much better. There's so much variety that I can wear and sports bras. And also guys, something that I never, ever, ever thought I would do in life. Sometimes I don't wear a bra and it's glorious, like it's great. I've got strappy dresses and I don't wear a bra and it doesn't matter, like it does not matter. Um, I've written clothes and confidence, as mentioned, the types of clothes that I wear. Before I would always wear high neck and countless binders and things to press them down. Um, now I, I can, you know, go a bit lower or wear bardo things, it's absolutely fine and the, the confidence that I have in clothes is just so much better. Like this as well, the button down, that would never work because they're just like split. Um, so that's absolutely amazing. Um, how's it changed my life? Just in all ways. Like I, I can't, I can't really describe. It just, it's just all ways. And my back was one of like quite a big issue and the pain on the back and then the, my neckline I used to have like from here like it was kind of swollen and that was because of the bra straps and because of how heavy um, my breasts were so now I've actually got like shape like what like it's mad and it, it's so much better my back is is on its way to being completely perfect and which is just absolutely amazing and I've had no complications with anything. Um, I used bio oil a little bit and then I just thought, meh. And like, as I said, like it's healed amazingly. The scars look fabulous. Um, regrets, a lot of people have said, have I got any regrets? And a lot of people have said, like they're worried that the surgeon won't go as small as they want. Um, for me, my, Initially, if you'd have asked me like six months ago and you asked if I had any regrets, I would have said I wanted him to go smaller, but I would not be in proportion. Like how I am now, I'm in proportion. I've got a small waist, but I've got big hips. Like I've got really big hips and I always have, always will, because you can't change your hip bones. Um, so if they, I mean, when at the beginning I was adamant, I was like, just get rid, just, I don't want them at all. Um, but they're just like sorry I keep touching them um they're just the right size for me and my body um which is brilliant so now I wouldn't say I had any regrets the only regret is I would have done it a lot sooner but it took a video uh from Sam Chapman to inspire me to do it uh, can I just say my initial breast reduction video has over a, over half a million views and so many of you have gone to uh my surgeon and the team and it's brilliant i will leave all of their information down below the harley medical group all that good stuff um a lot of people as well one of the biggest questions actually two of the biggest questions i'll do them now is can i do i have nipple sensation <sighs> no <laughs> it's like i if it's cold i can't really i can't tell if they're sticking out or not um, so I, I have to like rely on the people I'm with to be like, Becca, your nipples are showing, all this kind of thing. And uh, in other ways, I don't really have sensation there, but that does not bother me at all. Like it, it is what it is. Um, and 
the breastfeeding as well that's up to chance I might be able to I might not um so yeah I can't I mean sometimes there's a bit there's a bit of feeling there might come back might not as I said don't really care um, and then the other big question was, so one of my struggles to get my breast reduction was um, weight because they, it's unsafe for a surgeon to remove a certain amount of weight from your body if you've got too much to start with. Um, so I can't remember actually how much I had to lose. I think it was like 18 pounds, something like that. And I did it. Um, it was difficult because I have a plethora of other illnesses and medications that make it quite difficult for me to lose weight, as does my sister. Um, it's good that we have each other for this because like, it's impossible. Um, but I did it with uh, help of my uh, normal GP and coming off medications for a certain amount of time, but it was vital that I went back on them and blah, 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 uh, after the surgery. Um, a lot of people are saying, how much do I need to lose? I can't tell you there's not it's not like you have to be 12 stone or below it's not like you have to be eight stone or below it's it's nothing like that it's to do with your bmi so obviously my height and my weight is not going to be the same height and weight as you so it's it's completely bmi and it's what would be safe and healthy for the surgeon to remove um weight from and a lot of people uh, I mean, some of the comments are obviously like, why would you get rid of your boobs? Or like, you should have just lost weight. Um, your breast tissue's made of fat, it would have gone. It wouldn't, it, it, no matter what happened, my breasts were still massive and still like long and all this. Um, and it's up to each person. It's your body, it's your choice. Um, if you can afford it or if you're lucky enough to get it on the NHS. Um, but I wanted mine. Then I just, I was, I was in the right place to get it done. Um, so yes, I'm afraid I can't tell you exactly how much you need to weigh because it's completely, you need to go for your free consultation if you go to the Harley Medical Group, the first one is free and um, you can have a chat, you can be weighed, measured and they'll give you all the help and advice there, they're absolutely lovely, like you know me, I hate making phone calls, I hate talking about anything that people have to like look at certain things on me so it was difficult but they made it so easy, my nurse counsellor Catherine was amazing. Um, so they'll make it as easy as possible for you so if you are someone that sort of struggles with weight or body image they will make everything really really smooth for you which was really helpful um, because if you have watched my original video I did go through the first person I met with was not nice at all so that kind of put me off the whole situation um, so yeah I can't tell you how much you need to lose um, you might not need to lose anything um, and then the another question people ask which I did uh, mention in the videos was how much it was and I believe it was about six thousand pounds or something like this um, worth every penny worth every penny and then some so yeah I don't really know what else I can say I'm, I'm just absolutely over the moon and it's so refreshing to be able to look at photos of me and be like oh I don't need to like cringe or shudder at the thought of how like uncomfortable I was that day because I was wearing seven binders or something like that it's so nice to just be able to just look and be like I was just wearing a bra like I'm, I'm not even wearing a bra right now I'm not wearing a bra and it's great um <laughs> so yes as always if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them I still see the comments um on my original breast reduction video but there are thousands on that video which is amazing and I try and answer as many as possible like the ones that come up the most um same with my Instagram DMs and uh, that kind of thing I try and do my best but it is difficult and also some of the questions can be like a bit personal or uh, yeah, <laughs> I do my best. I think I'm pretty open with the situation. So I hope, I hope this was a helpful little one year update. Wouldn't change a thing. Best decision I've ever made. If you're umming and ahhing about it, it's going to change your life for the absolute better. Um, and I couldn't recommend the team that did it enough. Yeah, that's my one year update. Most things were covered in the first and second videos, so this is just how everything is now. So obviously you might be thinking, you haven't said this, 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 you haven't given reasons why. It's all in the other videos, as is uh, hospital footage of me, extremely high on anaesthetic, which is good fun. Um, so thank you so much for all your love and support with my breast reduction journey. It is much appreciated and, oh, 
it's absolutely amazing and as I said it's changed my life for the better. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you really soon when it's not so hot and I can actually sit down and film lots of videos and uh, yeah I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in my next video.